So if you manage a Windows estate and you've got Windows machines all over the show, as a lot of people do at the moment, then the RoboShadow platform could be for you. It's an easy, agent-based system that's completely free for everyone to use that allows you to keep on top of things and manage security and compliance. Very shortly, we will be releasing the Mac and the Linux version as well, but I'm just gonna run you through the core Windows functionality that we currently have. So from a vulnerability perspective, if your business is going to be hacked, it's 70% likely that it's going to be via one of your desktops and it will be a known vulnerability that's exploited. Someone will ask you to click on a link via an email and it will be a remote access Trojan effectively that exploits one of these vulnerabilities. So it allows you to see the vulnerabilities, what workstations are on what vulnerabilities, broken down via user and when did we last see that workstation as well. Also allows you to look at things from um, an application perspective so you can look at top down what are your most vulnerable apps in your estate uh, in your estate at the moment. So this works on the same tech that's used for Nessus, Amazon Inspector, uh, Microsoft Security Center. It's the global CVE databases that are managed in the US. We tap directly into that database and reconcile your machine's applications against what's in those global vulnerability data. Places. So the next one is Windows Defender. So to get through a penetration test, you or an internal penetration test, you need to be able to demonstrate that you've got central management over your antivirus. Now we know that Windows antivirus is the most effective antivirus on the market today, um, but still you need advanced tools within Microsoft and they're not always the most easiest to be able to understand. You need to be able to centrally manage that, but also ensure that you're getting alerts. If we see threats coming through, then we want email alerts and that's what RoboShadow is gonna do as well. So it's not only gonna give you your Windows Defender estate health and compliance, it's also gonna give you any firewalls that have been disabled. So if there's a support engineer or one of the users have disabled their firewall and forgot to put that back on, they are very, very important in keeping the nasties away. It allows you, it alerts you um, to the fact that this firewall has been disabled and then you can go ahead uh, and email the user to re-enable it or re-enable it yourself. So onto Windows Defender. So not only are we showing you the critical uh, and security updates, we're also breaking it down via roll-up updates for you as well. So these are the different versions of Windows 10 so that you can understand what sort of versioning of Windows 10 that you've got out there and also what seems to be very very popular is that we need to understand especially if you've got Dell or HP laptops that are causing a bit of problems for users and maybe too many support calls is it because their drivers are not being updated so it gives you an understanding a bit more at an estate level what drivers need to be updated across your whole of your machines so this is a the hardware section is a user request could we just have one sheet that allows us to understand the machine the user what operating system is installed on those desktops or servers again if there's any end of life operating system like windows 2008 or windows 7 they're going to show up here as well what is the serial numbers the types of process and the memory on those machines as well this seems to be very very popular just to give you one single pane of glass um, for looking at your hardware similar same for, for for the software here so it allows you to understand for your whole estate what versions of what software do you have out, what the different versions and who's on what versions of software. Again, quite a lot of the application um, rollout tools that you have out there, the RMM tools, they're not that good at reporting back and updating. Again, this gives one uh, version of the truth from a software perspective as well. So in terms of the device coverage, I'll actually come back to that. So um, what also that we can do, this is where you'll come to download your um, RoboShadow agent. Again, it's free, sign up takes about a minute and then you can download your agent from there. You can also download an Active Directory connector which allows you to sync with Active Directory on-prem but then also Active Directory, Azure Active Directory in the cloud and we will also reconcile between the two Active Directories um, because some on-prem machines are using on-prem um, um, Active Directory directory and other machines are using Azure Active Directory. So we'll reconcile that for you, which allows you to understand your device coverage. So what you really need to be able to demonstrate to get through a penetration test is to understand where are my machines and do I know about all of my machines? And again, this gives you a, a lovely little window here to say, these are the machines that don't have a RoboShadow agent on there or an agent that's gonna be able to check your vulnerabilities, your defender and your updates um, status effectively. And we do that in a nice, neat little bow for you that allows you to reconcile your whole, a whole estate. So we are supporting this. Um, please get in touch if you have any questions before wanting to download or roll out RoboShadow. Um, as I say, we've got the Mac and the Linux version coming along very very soon um, but we are building this into a whole sort of automated penetration testing suite for your whole organization so do get behind us if you can uh, and feel free to get in touch if you have any questions so thanks for watching the video